Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made this timeline in PowerPoint. But before we go in, please make sure you are subscribed and if not, then well, what you're waiting for? Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look for an image that we're gonna have as a background for the first slide. I picked this one because uh, this timeline will be about the French Revolution. So then you go to picture format, click on crop, crop to shape and select the rounded rectangle here. And with the yellow dot, you can adjust the roundness of the corners. And then with the black handles here, we're going to drag them all the way to the edges of the slide. And we are actually going to go over a little bit. And then you go back to crop and click on fill for the image to take up the whole space. And then you can just move it around to reposition. And then you right click format background and we're going to change the background to black. And we're not seeing anything because we have the image. But if you go to the picture format panel and click on picture transparency, here you can increase the transparency so we get a little bit more of a faded image. And the next thing that we'll do is we're going to write the title of our timeline. So in this case is the French Revolution and the font that I'll be using, it's called Didot or Didot. I don't know how to pronounce it. And to change the character spacing, you click on that square, go to character spacing, click on expand. And here you can just play around with the values. And then you just have to write the rest of your words. So here I'm just going to put um, the title, the French Revolution. And once you're happy with the placement, you're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And then I'm going to make the image a little bit smaller and I'm going to place it on the right hand side of the slide. And for the text, I'm just going to drag it up to the gray area. Um, so outside of the canvas of the of the slide and now I'm gonna decrease the value of the transparency to make the image pop a little bit more and then I'm gonna write my first date so here will be like as an example it will be in 1789 and then I'm gonna draw a line from the shapes panel and first you right click and send to back. And this will be our connecting line throughout the timeline. So it's really important that we put it here at the moment uh, because we're gonna use it in the next slide. So then you just need to add a little description. Um, in my case, I'm just gonna put some placeholder text, but if you are doing a school presentation, then maybe you can put some events or some facts that happen on this date. So then we're going to duplicate this slide again with Ctrl D. And here we're going to drag the title and description to the left. And we're going to do the same thing with the image. And then we're going to take the line that we did and we're going to extend it all the way to the left. And then you'll insert your new date and you'll insert a new description and maybe move it around. And then I'm going to look for a new image. I'm going to copy and paste it. And with the image selected, you go to picture format, click on crop and again, select the rounded rectangle and you can adjust again the corners and then just reposition it. And then you can select the shape effects to add a shadow and it won't show up at the moment because the background is black. But once we add a background image, then this image is really going to pop up. So once you find your image, just copy and paste it. Here I'll make it a little bit larger and then right click send to back. With the crop option, you can make everything tidier and then you're going to go to the format picture panel and you're going to change the transparency. So we get like this watermark effect. And once you're happy with the transparency, just copy and paste it into the previous slide. Again, right click send to back and drag it to the right to the gray area. For slide four, we're going to duplicate slide three as we did with the other ones with Ctrl D. And here we can get rid of everything that's on the gray area. And then you're going to start creating your 
um, for layout and you just have to drag every element that you had to the left or to the right depending on where you want the animation to come from so in my case I'm gonna have a title in the center and then I want all the elements from the previous slide to go um, to the left and then I'm just gonna add my images as I did in the previous slides I'm gonna add some placeholder text maybe some descriptions um, and here I'm just using three different images once you're happy with the placement and like the transparencies and all of that you guessed it we're gonna have to copy every single element from this slide and paste it into the previous slide and here I'll drag some elements to the bottom some elements to the top some elements to the right because this transition will be a little bit more dynamic then we're gonna take the elements from slide 3 and we're gonna paste them into slide 2 and they just have to be outside of the main composition then go to the second slide copy the title and description and paste it into the first slide and drag it to the left the last thing to do is to select all the slides go to transitions and click on morph and there you go that's how i did this timeline presentation in powerpoint if you like this tutorial please hit the like button or leave a comment i read all of them and remember that you can download this presentation for free on creatorsboot.com thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next tutorial